Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, to my new video. I'm about to do my final Melody Festival and reaction video. Well, I've only done two anyway, so <laughs> not like I've done loads of Melfest videos, but it's the final Melfest video because we now have all of the finalists and the Mamas performed last night in semi-final four and they are through to the final, which is no surprise. Um, so I'm going to be reacting to the live performance of In The Middle. So as we know, the Mamas won Melfest last year with MOVE. They were supposed to represent Sweden, obviously it didn't happen. Um, but I really loved this song, MOVE. It was so good, it would have been so good on the Eurovision stage in Rotterdam. It's a real shame that they couldn't perform it, but at least they're coming back to try again. There's a lot of reasons why the cancellation of 2020 is disappointing and there's a group of songs from last year that I listen to and when I listen to them I'm reminded of just how disappointing the cancellation was because they would have looked being so good at Eurovision and Move by the Mamas is one of those songs. Yeah, it really reminds you of how much of a shame it was that it was cancelled. So the new song is called In The Middle. Um, I have heard the one minute clip of the song, um, so I do have an idea of what it sounds like. When I listened to that clip, um, I think I've already decided that I don't like it as much as Move, um, but it would be good to hear the whole thing and to see the whole performance. So far, my personal favourite from Melfest is Dotter with Little Tot. I have done a reaction video to that song and the performance. Um, in the reaction video, I think I said that I wasn't too sure at first and that I needed to let it grow on me and it has really grown on me. It came out on Spotify yesterday and I've been listening to it repeatedly, like literally all the time over the past like 24 hours. So yeah, I really like that song now and I'd like to see Doctor at Eurovision, but it could be the Mamas, could be somebody else. So yeah, let's react to In the Middle. Oh. Oh my god, they're wearing exactly the same outfits as Move. Wow. <laughs> It's like a flashback to last year. Wow. Oh, okay, they changed. Lots of gold. It's the gold for me. <laughs> it is different to move. It's not as uplifting. They are good though, aren't they, the mamas? I like them. It's giving me like Greater Showman kind of vibes. I like this bit. Yeah, it sounds a little bit different. It's a bit more like low key, a bit more slower. <laughs> I like this bit.
Yeah, we need like this bit. I need like something more. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's good. Um, I'm going to be honest though, I don't think that has the same impact that Move has. I don't think it's quite as good. It just. Imp uh, Move was just more uplifting, more of a moment on the stage. It was, it was just more. <laughs> there was just more to it, more about it. This doesn't quite, doesn't quite get there for me. I want it a little bit more. I do like it, but just not as much as move, definitely not. It just feels like a little bit of a step down um, from last year. Um, if they do win Melfest, then good for them. That would be great. I, you know, it could win Melfest, but I'm really confused right now of who's going to win. It could be, well, all I know is that it's going to be between four, and that's Dotter, the Mamas, Toos, is it Toos or Tusa? Um, he's good, I, I can see him winning it, and then the other one would be Eric, Eric Sade, I guess. Um, yeah, it has to be between those four, Dotter, the Mamas, Toos and Eric, it has to be. But which one of those four, I have no idea, like I said, my favourite is Dotter, Little Tot. That's definitely my favourite. I'd like to see that at Eurovision. Um, and she could win. I'm just thinking, imagine if the top two will be a complete repeat of last year with the Mamas and Dotter in the top two again, and then one of them wins by one point again. <laughs> that would be so weird. I think I'm going to watch the final live if I can, because I think this result could be really interesting, because it could go either way. Like, I could see it being either Dotter or Toos. For some reason, I can't see it being the Mamas. I don't know why. Like, it would be great for them to go to Eurovision because they were supposed to go last year. So they should have that choice, you know, the chance to go. But then also, like, I prefer other songs to that one. Um, oh, yeah, it's going to be really close, a close call, I think. If I had to make a prediction right now, I'm thinking it could be between Dotter with Little Tot and Toots with Voices. For some reason, I can just picture it being one of them, for some reason. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of In The Middle. I I do like it, like, I, you know, the chorus was catchy. I like the gospel element, um, there's just something missing for me, just something not quite there. Um, let me know what you think, and let me know who you think could win Melfest. I think we all know it's between those four, but which one? I have no idea. I think the final is probably the week after next, or it could be next week. Well, I don't know, I think, no, I think it's the week after next. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and watch that live. I think it could be quite exciting. Um, so we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you for the next reaction video. Um, I think it will be... So we now have 14 songs. Um, I think the next internal entries are coming out middle of next week. I think there's Moldova, the Netherlands. I'll react to at least one of them. I think. So yeah, I'll see you then. Thank you for watching. Bye!